Today we'll begin with a new topic. It's a play and the title of the play is Strife and it's written by John Goldsworthy. But before we begin with the play, I would just like to give you a brief introduction of the playwright John Goldsworthy. He was born on 14th of August 1867 at Kingston Hill and he was one of the leading literary figures of England in the first quarter of the century. He was a prolific writer and he wrote many poems, plays, short stories and novels. His father's name was also John Goldsworthy. He was a practicing solicitor in London. He was a, well, he was a very uh, wealthy, uh, rich man and had the refinement and culture of the best British aristocrats. Goldsworthy enjoyed all those advantages and privileges which are available to the sons of rich parents. He had his early education at a preparatory school at Bournemouth and was then sent to the famous public school at Harrow. From there, his father sent him to Oxford and he graduated with honours in law from New College in 1889. So in this way, he had the best education available in England. He got the best out of these institutions where he studied and otherwise he was a very kind-hearted man and was deeply touched by the sufferings of the poor, the infirm and the outcasts. He had experience of these when he went to collect rent on his father's property. These experiences found a place in his works in later life. His father wanted to make him a barrister. He was called to the bar in 1890, but he practiced very little. He was not very much interested in practicing law. His father then sent him to Canada to investigate the affairs of a mine and then to South Seas and New Zealand also to learn something of navigation. And this developed a wanderlust in him and he travelled round the world for two years. During this period uh, or during uh, his voyages, he read Dickens, Turgenev, Mopasa, Tolstoy and Ibsen and these writers influenced him greatly. But Although we can say that he was influenced by him, but none of these authors could ignite the spark of authorship in Goldsworthy. This credit goes to Edda, who was in those days the wife of his cousin Arthur and whom Goldsworthy married in 1905 after his father's death. And to marry her, he has to wait for 12 years. She inspired him a lot. And this makes him a great writer. This he himself acknowledges. His literary career began in 1897 with the publication of From the Four Winds. It's a collection of short stories. Then this was followed by two novels and another collection of short stories. They were published under the pseudonym John St. John. And uh, these were merely, uh, we can say, literary exercises and were not noticed by the critics at all. Goldsworthy made a mark on the literary scene with the appearance of The Silver Box in 1906. Plays and stories now came from his pen in quick succession and by the end of the 30s of this century, he had to his credit 30 volumes of poems, plays, 
novels and short stories. He was a great social reformer and philanthropist and was full of humanism. He loved or sympathized with the poor and the sufferers and was of a very generous uh, temperament. He accepted many literary honors also and in 1932 he was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature. Goldsworthy died in 1933 at Groove Lodge on 31st of January and he spent his last days quietly in his country home in Sussex just like a typical country square. So this is a brief introduction of the author, the dramatist John Goldsworthy, whose play Strife we are going to study and which is in your syllabus. So students, that's all for today and tomorrow we'll begin with the play Strife. Thank you.